I mean, so extending this to humans, so do you trust or do you care if, say, the trap of civilization, the trap of these social, these forms of social organization, of ideologies, of these various ways that people are corralled, coerced, um, encultured, conditioned, you know, all these various ways that we're shaped by these systems, that if those are like the trap with the badger, if we smash that ideology, smash those systems, that a sort of feral, natural, almost organic quality of humanness would emerge out of that. Do you trust that that would happen? Or is am I misinterpreting what you're kind of proposing? I So in terms of trust, I... I'm not a kind of, in terms of like people who have been reliant on a structure of machinery for their entire lives and, you know, and have embraced that, um, are going, you know, I believe regardless of my wants or desires, I believe are going to have struggles over the coming years as things play out. And I don't see, I see kind of, deconstruction and destruction happening already kind of quite organically we've seen this kind of with coronavirus being an example of kind of in a you know in a small way civilization collapsed and has collapsed and is trying to rebuild itself and trying to hold itself together and whether that's you know whether these collapses happen kind of through food production systems kind of falling apart or you know oil drying up and you know not having any means of creating electricity or whatever you know Mm -hmm. excuse me those kind of things playing out i don't see that as being a part of it as in within our means to control and i don't have a kind of utopian vision for the future i see i my belief is that things are going to be very difficult particularly for people living in cities in highly urbanized areas. Um, with that, my experience is, and this is not a totalizing thing, this is not an absolute thing for all people, but there is a quality within kind of some of the shittiness that can come out of kind of collapse type situations that it is very is still kind of what we'd call will to life, but a polluted version because we're polluted by this culture to some degree. It's in, you know, individually and as kind of social beings, you know, our lives are infected by this reality. And I don't deny that, that, you know, there's a likelihood of things being very, very difficult. What I see with that as well is that places recover, people as places recover, um, like take Chernobyl, for, for example, like, you know, ecological catastrophe, and okay, it's not as desirable as we may want it to be, but it is recovering to some extent. And things are healing in ways that are difficult and uncomfortable and that we might not might not be how we'd like them to be. But those processes are happening. And I see with people like my neighbor is, you know, has rewilding areas in her garden and kind of like areas where she's kind of, you know, and she's built a hedgehog house and there is this kind of desire for, for life that we experience. And there are people who will do what they, you know, out of desire, not out of this moralistic sense of social obligation, not out of some collectivist ideology that, has a bunch of structures in place to kind of save people, but people will just want to care for those they love because we do, because, you know, in the way that I love my grandmother and I just have a desire to care for her that is personal to me, my experience is that people will care for those they love. And as we find ourselves as environments, and in environments and in relationship with other environments and as in, you know and as other environments as people encounter us and we encounter them 
there is a degree to which not in a kind of hippie bullshit peace love and all that kind of sort of way but people and animals and beings find ways of living together even in the most horrible situations so and just to kind of reference another thing that i've written i wrote a book called masodma where i was basically trying to communicate some of the like kind of the darker ideas on ecology from a two like a young young adult or kind of teenager where i wrote about the experience or my kind of imaginings of the experience of one of those tiny mammals that lived through the mass extinction event that took out the dinosaurs living, living in this kind of state of total darkness living um every day kind of being intensely stressful um kind of these huge bestial kind of violent processes that you know they are brutal and and trying to navigate that and within within that story which is basically a really kind of quite depressing short story but i think quite pretty um there is a moment in it where they find another being to mate with and go through that experience and i think that life includes those moments those experiences and those relationships where we experience care and i it's not a thing of faith i don't have i'm i'm not claiming that you know people are naturally good or people are inherently intrinsically good and we can expect the best from them i have a very personal ob- observation that i find care as being part of being in in the world being in a space and sharing you know moments with other living beings that we are surrounded by um it's not a kind of uh, a comfy answer to your question i know it's probably not the answer you're looking for but that's the best answer i can give mm-hmm.